Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD for Friday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. My dear friends, today is Friday again. So please be careful because we have seen that in the last couple of weeks, Fridays are really, really dangerous, especially during the US session, nothing works. Whether we have a news or not, things get crazy, market gets extremely volatile. Uh, this is the economic calendar. We can see that today we don't have any news during the US session, but still, okay, there may be some unexpected volatility in the market and it may fry your account. Okay, so if you're unable to understand the market movements during the US session, just take a rest because market will give you plenty of opportunities to make money when the market condition is normal. You don't need to trade each and every day. You don't need to be on trade all the time. We are traders, not gamblers. So do not gamble with your hard-earned money. Okay, now let's look at the market sentiment. Gold steady, supported by middle East tensions. Gold trading at a record high following US interest rate cuts. We can see that there are a few factors because of which gold is bullish right now. And as we all know, after FOMC, gold made a high of 2600. If you are holding buy on gold, you can continue with your buy position because nobody knows, okay, where is the next high of gold. But yes, gold is fundamentally bullish. So if you are holding gold for the last couple of weeks and months, then Continue with the buy position because gold will be going up always. But if you're a positional trader and stuck on a sell, then my dear friend, you have violated a very uh, important rule of the market. Gold is fundamentally bullish and you took the opposite trade. So if you're stuck on a sell right now, okay, try to exit at retracement. And if gold breaks 2600, then please try to exit because if you do not exit at the right time, there's a high chance that you will lose your whole capital. I know sometimes it is very difficult to uh, accept a big loss, but if we do not accept it, then we may lose our whole capital. Okay, so 2600 is playing a very crucial role in the market right now. If it breaks it, please exit. Now you can see on the chart that I have written what's cooking. Yes, it is uh, difficult to understand right now how 2600 will react or act right now. Okay, because if we look at the option data, we can see uh, we have options building up at uh, 2475. Where is it? Yeah, I was looking. Around 2475, we can see option building up. Means if market drops, just telling you, okay. There's, if there is sudden big drop in the market, you can see we have the uh, highest contract built up at 2475, okay, which is far away. Very hard to digest the 2475 will be the best support. Okay. And if you look at the 2600 thing here, okay, where is 2600? Okay. Yeah, 2600, you can see there is a significant reduction in the number of contracts. Remember earlier it was almost around almost 10,000, then it came around 9,000, then 7,000. Now we can see that we have another reduction of almost 1100 contact uh, contracts and it is 6435 it means see it's like a wall okay try to understand in simple words it's like a wall and slowly the bricks are going away so the wall is um, okay getting weaker the strength of the wall is reducing so 2600 no i don't know how market will behave around this level but yes if gold breaks 2600 then there will be a chaos. Okay. So again, I'm repeating as a position trader, swing trader, if you are having a buy on gold, continue because there is a good chance that market will break 2600 because we can see uh, contracts are reducing at 2600. And if we get a breakout, okay, if we get a breakout, do not take a buy immediately. Okay, wait for 15 minutes, wait for 30 minutes to just to observe the market behavior because there is also a possibility of a false breakout. If you see that after 30 minutes, one or market is trading comfortably above 2600, then only look for a buy because there is a problem that after taking a buy at 2605, after taking a buy at 2610, if market drops suddenly, then you will be stuck. And uh, if market reverses from 2600, okay, yes, this will also uh, 
at a resistance okay so if market reverses okay then we can look for a sell personally i will okay i will wait or i may just avoid because um yesterday okay i was um, stuck on two trades okay it was yesterday yes market gave good moves but okay it was i won't say a very good but overall okay it was okay day okay it was kind of a headache so i may take a rest for the day because the levels that are in front of us i'm not convinced if i get market around this particular area then i will look for a buy otherwise i may avoid trading for the day so if market reverses if you see strong price rejection from above if you want to take a sell you can go for a sell but yes i think it will be better for us to go for a buy at breakout if market settles above 2600 2600 is going to be a crucial and critical level what crucial and critical at the same time okay. and if market drops from here then where can we look for buy see right now i'm recording the video in the asian session obviously the chart will change uh, there will be some other opportunities during the european session and U u.s session but while recording this video i can see that we have trading opportunity around 24 sorry 2572 2570 area because of this particular support then i can see we have uh, also support around 2565 because of fibo okay i'll show you and then we have support around 2552 to 250 these are the three levels where we can look for a buy position for the day and during the day especially during the european session okay you can switch to 15 minutes time frame to find other opportunities but right now if i take you to the 15 minutes time frame we don't see much trading opportunities now uh you can think that yes 2585 is also there but i am not convinced okay. we are considering 2570 2572 area because of previous price rejection we have support around this particular area here then you can see 2552 we have previous price rejection we have the 200 moving average plus it's a round number then around this 2562 256365 area we have t uh previous price rejection from below okay and we can expect this all area also to provide support to the market and if you're wondering avilash don't we have fibo here yes if we draw fibo then we can see that we also have uh, additional confirmation from fibo as well okay so these are the three levels on the chart of gold um where we can look for a buy if market takes support during that day but yes we do not have any immediate level around uh 80 80 area during the day during the european session okay if 50 minutes sh uh, not chart chart shows something then we can look for some trading opportunities but keep in mind that anything on this chart that will come up during the european session will not be a very reliable level okay and today is friday so you need to be extra careful okay and my dear friends thank you so much for uh, such lovely response for a workshop the hindi workshop is starting from today uh, we have a week's time for the english workshop but yes the hindi is starting from today so that's all my dear friends okay uh, be careful and if you do not get any trading opportunity throughout the whole day then just skip it okay you don't need to okay uh, take high risk with your capital okay. so as i always say okay my dear friends we are traders not gamblers so bye bye take care all the best see you tomorrow